everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name's Lily, if you're new here, welcome to my little family of 120 something people. <laughs> As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 different ways that you can help save the planet. Because every little bit that everybody does counts towards something. I just want to preface this with that I'm obviously not an expert on anything, but also that some of these may seem really obvious to you, but some people just need to be reminded. So yeah. All right, let's go. Number one is taking a reusable drink bottle everywhere you go. I take my reusable drink bottle literally everywhere. Like, it's sort of like my child. <laughs> I actually have quite a few different ones. My favorite size drink bottle is a 500ml because it's not too big but it's not too small. And the 500ml ones fit in pretty much any bag. They're just a really great size and they're not too heavy either which is awesome if you're using a backpack or a um, shoulder tote bag. Yeah. And also I highly recommend using the double walled metal ones. They are awesome. If you fill them up with cold water in the morning, they are still cold the next day. All right, um, number two goes along with reusable drink bottles, and this is using a reusable coffee cup. These can come in many different shapes, forms, materials, whatever. I have um, a couple of glass ones. Um, I recently gave my brother one for Christmas. I think it was a plastic one. Um, and they're just awesome, they're really handy to take around with you and a lot of cafes will give you a 50 cent or something like that discount off your coffee if you bring your coupe cup, which is awesome. Everybody loves a discount. But yeah, and it's just really handy, especially if you get soy milk or like an alternative milk, it like cancels out the price because often they cost extra. So, winning for us non-dairy people. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and they're also great because regular coffee cups, even though they may look like they're just made from cardboard, they have the plastic lining in them, and that means they can't be recycled, which is so silly, but yeah, that's why you should bring a keep cup. Okay, number three is if you are a straw kind of person, I'm sure you would know about metal straws, silicon straws, foldable straws. They're just a couple of reusable ones that you can use. I do have three or four of them for just a random present during the year. Last year I got um, my little friendship group all collapsible straws. They're easy to use, so you can put them on your key ring, chuck them in a little tiny bag. They're awesome. Really great. <laughs> and they save the fishies and the turtles and the dolphins and the whales and whatever other kind of sea creatures, birds. Also save birds. Yeah, lots of little lives being saved one straw at a time. Number four um, is using reusable bags when you go shopping. So not only grocery shopping, but also clothes shopping, shoes shopping, any kind of shopping. Um, most places nowadays will charge you for a bag. I'm pretty sure there's a law in Australia that every place has to charge you for a bag. Don't hold me to that. I'm pretty sure it is though. Something else that goes along with reusable shopping bags is reusable produce bags. Um, these are great. They um, are often made of a mesh sort of material, so they're really long lasting. And yeah, I actually make them myself. I'll put a link down to my Instagram where I sell little handmade bits and bobs. Number five, um, this one is being more ethical with your shopping. So as a, I like to think, as a former shopaholic. Don't think I'm a shopaholic anymore. Um, <laughs> praise the Lord. Yeah, so as a former shopaholic, um, I've been trying to be more ethical with my shopping. So whether that is buying second hand, which is always great because one, clothes are often a lot cheaper. And two, you often find things that are more unique and you're not going to see somebody else walking down the street with it. And also, another option that you could do with secondhand clothing, as people in America like to say, thrift flip them. Which is always fun. I actually have a couple of videos of me doing that and I'm going to do some more soon as well. So keep an eye out for those. Buying from brands that I know pay their work as well and don't 
use factories. Um, don't use, what's it called? I should know this. Hmm. I want to say factory farming, but I know that's not correct because that's animals. That's also not a good thing. I'll get to that. And also another thing is just wear the clothes you've got. I've come to the realization that I don't actually wear like a third of the clothing that I have. And so I'm trying not to buy anything and actually just wear my clothes. Sounds so simple, doesn't it? Number six is uh, walking or taking public transport when you can. This one is great for one, the environment, and two, yourself. Because um, it's always good to get in a bit of exercise every day, get those muscles working. I actually love taking public transport, not particularly buses, but I do love a train and a tram. Um, oh, that was a that came out really nicely. Anyway, yeah, it's just great. Um, like if you've got, you know, if you're only just traveling into the city or whatever, and you're going just one train, it's nice just to have that time just to yourself, just to really chill. It's nice. <laughs> and um, you know, helping the planet with less carbon emissions. Yeah. So taking um, public transport or walking is always a great option, or you can run if you're that way inclined, or riding a bike. Bikes are always great as well. Uh, number seven, um, this one is also something for yourself and also the planet, um, is wearing sunscreen. Daily, um, especially SPF 50 plus, 50, five zero, five zero, because we've all got to protect our skin, especially with the harsh rays that we get here in Australia. Particularly when you are going swimming in the ocean, it is great to wear a reef safe sunscreen because um, a lot of sunscreens actually cause coral bleaching, which causes the corals to die, which then causes fish to not have something to eat, which then causes the fish to die, etc. Bad circle of life. But we want to stop that by reef safe sunscreen. We'll link some down below as well so that you can see a couple of companies that do that. Because it's great. Because <laughs> we want to save our fishies and our coral and our oceans. Number <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Just a couple more to go. Woo! This one is eating more plant-based meals. This one is actually really good for your health and also the environment because lots of reasons. I will <laughs> link some stuff down below as I've said a million times. Um, just because I don't want to give out the wrong information. But yeah, um, more plant-based meals is always a great option, especially because the less animal products that we consume, the less animals that will be harmed in the future, less cows that will be made, means less methane in the air because they fart a lot. <laughs> okay, number nine. This one might seem a little bit weird, but um, it's using shower caps as plate covers to preserve your food instead of using glad wrap or cling wrap or whatever the non-branded name is. <laughs> they work really well and after you've finished your leftovers just rinse it out, let it dry and you can use it again. Super easy. Also, Ziploc bags instead of just like the single use ones. So I have some silicon Ziploc, Ziploc bags that I got from Amazon I think and they are awesome. I love them so 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 much. They're so great. And yeah, they're awesome. You can boil them, put them in the microwave, put them in the dishwasher, hand wash them, because I don't have a dishwasher. <laughs> I will definitely either link the ones that I have down below, or if I can't find them, something very similar. And number 10, we made it. Um, <laughs> so this one is using a material instead of using wrapping paper, because a lot of wrapping papers have little like plasticky bits in them and that means that they can't be recycled as well which is so silly but that is a thing and um, the world uses a lot of wrapping paper especially at Christmas time but yeah this one's also great because you could find like a really pretty scarf and you could wrap it up I know that at Lush they do these and I actually have been given a couple of them. You can find really great scarves at secondhand stores or if you're wanting to spend a little bit more, um, obviously you can get a brand new one. Um, just depends on I guess the person you're giving it to and whether you think that they'll 
actually use it or whether they can just you know reuse it and re-gift yeah all right so we've come to the end i hope that you enjoyed this video and found something new that you hadn't really thought about before or just you know been refreshed and um given something to think about yeah i hope you have a wonderful day thanks for watching so if you got to this point in the video comment down below the present emoji because that was a number 10. <laughs> All right, I will see you next week. Um, I hope you have a great day. Bye. Let's save some fishies.